We're talking about um, the governor's latest announcement yesterday with um, much awaited financial relief for small businesses. Um, just tell me what you thought about her announcement and how it relates to what the Small Business Coalition had proposed. Um, it's a step in the right direction. Um, for the first time, the state has acknowledged um, you know, the coalition that we put forward and the efforts that we're making. Um, she proposed $50 million. We asked for $125 million. Um, our $125 million would have projectedly helped um, about uh, 10,000, uh, sorry, 100,000 small businesses, um, with each of them getting about $10,000. So, and like I said, it's a step in the, it's a serious step in the right direction. Um, you know, we understand, um, you know, the need to hold some of that funding back. Um, and what the state witnessed yesterday was really uh, historic in a sense. Um, we come from a state where there is zero uh, small business friendly advocates, you know, in the, in the state house. Um, and now for the first time, you know, with, with the governor and, uh, you know, Stefan stepping up to the plate and, and helping us is, is a good step. Um, you know, hopefully it moves a little bit quicker. Um, but we also understand, you know, the need to get it right the first time and not have to, you know, make the situation worse than it already is. You said um, not a lot of small business friendly advocates in the state house. Why do you think that is? And um, what are you hoping will come out of this new announcement that could possibly change that? I'm hoping that, um, you know, they really see that, the, that we have the voice now um, and we're just as big as one uh, large business. So I think that when you think of small businesses in the sense of, you know, a hair salon, a mom and pop studio, a yoga studio, you know, a graphic shop, um, you don't see the value in them as individuals, but you see the value in them as a giant coalition. Um, I think right now there's roughly 4,000 businesses, you know, that have signed on to the petition to support us um, and, you know, be part of this coalition. Um, so I think now we have just as much as a voice as, you know, the larger corporations and manufacturing corporations that the governor talks about, you know, wanting to bring back to the state and wanting to, um, you know, move that state in that forward direction. So one of the things that um, was pretty significant about this announcement was that even though the governor said she wanted to get cash into hands of businesses as fast as possible, there are still, you know, potentially weeks long wait and maybe months to get that money. So what did you think about that part of it? And is it fair to um, criticize that part of it when she's trying to be cautious, comparing it to other states that have had um, it's harder experiences? Yeah, I think it's really tough, but you know, I think in the same um, retrospect, we're in the arena. Um, so we're in the wheelhouse, we got the attention, um, we got the ball rolling. You know, they did make um, an announcement that there could be a phase two of, you know, the funding. Um, yeah, I mean, it's critical. We need the money now. You know, we needed the money yesterday. We needed the money a month ago. Uh, so to sit and tell someone that, you know, just keeping the doors open, that, hey, it's going to be another couple weeks. Don't worry about it. When we could have started this process weeks ago um, to get where we are. Um, you know, but again, you know, throughout this whole thing, the health crisis has been the, the, the number one priority. I think a lot of small businesses <laughs> and that. Um, I think a lot of us can sit back and say, well, you know what, helps on the way again. Um, you know, I just got to stick this out, you know, two more weeks. Maybe I can talk to my landlord. Maybe I can talk to, you know, uh, some of my vendors and, and hold them off for maybe another month and, and see what I can get in. Um, but I, I really do think that it's a step in the right direction. Um, you know, we got, we got some acknowledgement and, and I think the work for us is just beginning. Um, I think that's our biggest message that, you know, it, it, it's a start for us. Um, it's a start for the state and we've been acknowledged so that, you know, twice in one week is, is, is pretty good. Right. Um, well, I, I hope the businesses are um, hopeful now with this announcement. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to add and on behalf of small businesses who are, hearing this and thinking, you know, maybe I might not make it, maybe I will, but what do you want them to know? Two things. Uh, one piece would be uh, one small piece of criticism um, from the plan that was released yesterday was it, it completely left out sole proprietors. 
I think a lot of small businesses, we are sole proprietors. I mean, my business alone was a sole proprietorship until I formed a partnership with my business partner about a year ago. So just hang in tight. Uh, we hear you. We're there. Um, we've got, you know, we're there. We're in the arena and people are listening. Um, everything that has happened in the last couple of days has been because the small businesses listened to us and trusted us. Um, we made history. I mean, we got 4,000 people to sign that. We, we got it delivered to the state house. We're there. You know, we're just, just hang tight. I'm with you. Um, you know, my business right now is struggling just as much as probably anybody's. Um, we found a way to get through it. Now we're stuck. Um, and, and we're, we're, tr you know, trucking through it as well. Um, so just stick it out. It, it, we're not going to give up. This is just the beginning for the uh, Rhode Island Small Business Coalition. Um, if you're watching this and you haven't joined that coalition, it's rismallbusiness.org. Get on there, sign the petition, sign the sign up for the coalition, um, and and be part of change. You know, be part of this historic movement. Thank you so much, Justin. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.